a, b, and c are integers such that negative 5 less than a less than or equal b less than or equal c less than 5. And a cubed plus b cubed plus c cubed equal to 3abc. Find the value of a, b, and c. For solving this problem, you should know an important identity that a cubed plus b cubed plus c cubed minus 3abc equal to a plus b plus c times a squared plus b squared plus c squared minus ab minus ac minus bc. Now here, from assumption of the problem, we know a cubed plus b cubed plus c cubed equal to this part and 3abc equal to this part. So their difference because they are equal equal to zero. So the product of two terms equal to zero. So first term is zero or second term is zero. We consider both cases. Let's consider at first, hmm, yes, let's consider at first this case. Case one, a cubed plus b cubed plus c cubed minus ab minus ac minus bc equal to zero. We multiply it by 2, it will be 2a squared plus 2b squared plus 2c squared minus 2ab minus 2ac minus 2bc equal to 0. Then we rearrange this a squared plus b squared minus 2ab plus a squared plus c squared minus 2ac plus b squared plus c squared minus 2bc equal to 0. Now, we have a famous identity that x minus y squared equal to x squared plus y squared minus 2xy. So, if we use it here, let's rewrite this in the next page. If we consider this identity, the first one is a minus b squared, the next one is a minus c squared, and the last one is b minus c squared equal to zero. Because each of them is a square, they are at least zero. So when some of them is zero, we conclude each of them is zero. So a minus b is zero, a minus c is zero, and b minus c is zero. From first one, a equal to b. From second one, a equal to c. From third one, b equal to c. And if we combine all of them, a equal to b equal to c. And we can see it satisfy here because it will be this part 3a cubed, this part 3a cubed. But we know they are less than negative 5, greater than negative 5, less than 5. So if I want to write the answers, it can be from negative 4 because greater than negative 5 is strictly and less than 5. So it can be negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, and 3, and 4. So we have 4, 4, 9 answers here, all of them equal. Now, we've checked this case in case 1. Now it's the time to check this case, that a plus b plus c equal to 0. Case number 2, a plus b plus c equal to 0, and we know a is less than or equal b, less than or equal c, less than 5, greater than or equal negative 5. So if c is 4, then a plus b is negative 4. Now, we can say if a is, oh, sorry, here it's greater than or equal, greater than, strictly greater than. So if a is negative 4, b will be 0. If a is negative 3, b will be negative 1. If a is negative 2, b will be negative 2. And it is the last case. So we have three cases here. Let's consider when c equal to 3. So a plus b is plus c is 0. So a plus b is negative 3. Now, if I consider a negative 4, b will be 1. Negative 3, b will be 2. And b will be 0. And if negative 2, b will be negative 1. 
And if you consider negative 1, negative 2. So three cases here. Let's consider C is 2. So A plus B is negative 2. Now here, it is negative 4, it is 2. It is negative 3, it is 1. It is negative 2, it is 0. Negative 1, negative 1. So we have four answers here. If C is 1, then. And pay attention in all of them. A less than or equal B less than or equal C. So if C is 1. A plus B is negative 1. So if A is negative 4, then B will be 3, but B should be less than or equal C. So let's consider the maximum B is 1. And here we can say A should be negative 2. The next one it is negative 1 and it will be 0. And only these two cases we have. The next one, if C is 0, a plus B is 0, and because A and B are less than or equal C, the only possible case, because they cannot be positive, 0, 0. So, here we found 3 answers here, 3 answers here, 4 answers here, which is 10, 12, 13. So, 13 answers here, and in previous page, 9 answers here. So, 9 plus 13, we found 22 answers, and I've written all of them. Look here, we've used this important identity. If you want to learn important identities that are useful in algebra and also formulas, useful in geometry, number theory, and your combinatorics, feel free to send message to my WhatsApp number in the description and comments, and you can use my other playlists that are useful for BMO, British, AMC, UKMT, and many other exams and improve your problem solving. Thanks for watching this video. Have a great day and bye.